Hello, hi there Leos, I hope that you are very, very well. My name is Bella and welcome to my channel. And this is your love horoscope for um, November 2018. And if you're watching me for the first time, how I do my readings is I'm a psychic, so I read the energies and I give a general overview about what to expect romantically when it comes to your love life and if you'd like to know more about me and my services or perhaps join me on my facebook page the links are just down below and you know i love to hear from you so do subscribe if you want to get the not notifications just press the little bell icon um and i will go from there okay so just to go forward so most of you know i don't like to waste too much time um i like to dive right in there my guides are saying here that in november and maybe a little bit spinning over from last month is that there is definitely some new beginnings in in, in multiple ways when it comes to your romance so for some of you it will, will be a brand new relationship that you're just maybe just embarked on in october or you definitely will be in november some of you will be in a long-term relationship and it seems to be going in a new direction there are new ideas new plans and some of you this is a return of an energy that's come back to you an ex etc that you get to have a re-beginning a new start now the first thing that seems to be really important for you guys is being tr getting the truth starting on the right foot understanding that you and the other person's on the same page with things but most importantly the truth now there's a message from my spirit guides in terms of something that you need to consider because maybe it's best that i explain that as i go along because my guides are saying here there's lots of enthusiasm in the first week you kind of have this kind of um talk about the direction you're going with this new or existing person you're making plans some of these plans do have some financial links in particular so for some of you it will be married some of you it will be moving in together getting a mortgage buying a car buying a pet <laughs> some of you will be just going on holiday um but there is it does seem to be some tangible investment um as to what you know, part of your plans going forward with this person um but it feels to me in that first week probably because it's going so well that it's not just one thing it seems to be lots of things the way it's been described is almost like the more plans you can have you will feel like you have more sense of security with that person because if that person's promised to get a mortgage and then a pet and then maybe get married all, all of those things represent security represent longevity that may make you feel really secure but then it feels like there's more that you want because you still need to feel like you want more and so there's more and more plans now the trouble with that is it, it can become unrealistic to have that many plans it can become quite stressful for the other person to think how am I going to fulfill all of these things um but also my guides are almost implying why do you need that why do you need so many many things recognize how it's making you feel you know can these tangible planning action things really give you this ability what what is it masking sometimes we just need the simplest things to keep us content whereas sometimes when we accumulate many things or many plans is it because we're avoiding some sort of fear that's deep within us which is the real thing you need to look at and resolve because what they're saying is is the universe is pretty much always listening to you listening to your desires listening to what it is you are creating for what you believe internally what you truly believe and when we try to mask things or do too many things that we're really trying to hide a fear the what my guides are saying is the universe can still hear your fear and it is that that will manifest so actually don't try to cover it up by having many things because they're saying here basically it's going well but you're trying to make it almost go too well or trying to plan for too many things is because actually at the root of it it feels like you're still very afraid what if this new person leaves me what happens if um you know my partner leaves me if we don't move things forward or we've had a bad time so we have to move because this house is you know not good for us or it's hiding some deep fears that perhaps are connected to that person or a previous relationship that really in this month my guides want you to resolve because they're saying here you will not be able to move forward because that energy will just be following you like a congo dance <laughs> you'll think you're avoiding it by having these plans 
only to find then when you hit the first plan, it may go completely wrong because that energy that's at your core is still following you. So ultimately, it's a really positive month, but it's almost like my guides really want you to start this month. Clean, clean of negative energy. But with that very thing that I started this off with in terms of you wanting the truth, that you also too have to recognise the truth within you about what fears you are holding, because it will hold you back. You have the perfect energy and opportunity in this month to clear house. If you're doing this with this person, you need to do it with full-hearted belief that it will go well, because there's nothing suggesting otherwise. So with that example of trying to do too much, too much, that could put, then put pressure on the other person. Pressure <laughs> is not a high vibrational energy, is it? So therefore, just by that action, you are manifesting disappointment. Do you see what I mean? Try to think about it like spinning lots of plates. Eventually, <laughs> one of them's going to drop and then they all come crashing down. So my God's saying, you know, it's good to make plans or a plan, but to keep it to one or two and to do it from an authentic place where actually it's because you believe it and not because you're doing it because you're afraid. So the example would be you desperately want that person to ask you to get married because perhaps they cheated on you and this is their way of showing that they care. Is that coming from a fear place as a reason or is it? that you should be getting engaged because of the love and the trust and the faith you have in that person. Basically, Leos, it's an opportunity for you to cleanse, to heal and to be truthful with yourself in order to bring in the happiness that you deserve. Basically, the way through your connection with this person is to take away all, take away all judgments, to, for it to be a clean slate that you are at the cusp of a brand new beginning, a new cycle where there's every opportunity and every abundance to be grabbed from you. There is balance, there is compatibility, there is fairness. There's all these things that are on your side as you move into a new cycle with this person because this is what it feels like, new or otherwise. If you continue to hold on to those fears, my guides are promising you and I hate this because it's quite negative, but they're promising you that it will fail. This is a gift, my guides are saying, to say to you to set this free. It's about learning about the law of attraction and manifestation in its rawest form. And if you don't believe me, hold on to those fears, because eventually you'll see, and then you have to let go. My guides are saying here, yeah, <laughs> with all the love in the world, Leos, that they want your success and your happiness. And that there's something rather important about this month that secures that for you if you can recognise what vibration you are vibrating at. Fear is a low vibration. It's very natural because particularly if we've been hurt or disappointed, particularly if it's with that same person, <laughs> we only have our past to inform us. And if that is full of fear, then of course our ego is going to try to protect us from going forward. What my guides are saying to you is, the truth is, <laughs> in order to move forward, you have to forgive or to let go of whatever fear is holding you back, because it won't be the same unless you continue to manifest it. It's a deep read today, Leos. <laughs> when I do this, I never know what's going to come out, but that was pretty deep, even for me in a today, a weekday. But anyway, lovely Leos, it feels very much like that needed to be expressed and I think those of you who really really needed to hear that would hear that and uh, hopefully make the changes that are for your benefit. This is why I'm here, this is why I work with my guides because it's all about getting the best out of this life but it is not always about lack or fear and doom but it can be you know you can weather through the storm the whole of this month is about building and growth, not just tangible, but spiritual as well. So I do hope that's been helpful. If you like what I said, do say, do comment, do like, do share, do come for me for a private reading if you like that as well. 
I will be here next month in December. Can you believe it's the end of the year already? <sighs> it's gone really quick. <laughs> but I'll be back next month with your final reading of the year. So I've been Bella. You take care and see you again next month. Bye bye. Thank you.